All right, guys, we're back with another Assassin's Creed Shadows video. As we get closer towards the launch of the game, we're going to be seeing a lot of stuff pop up. Now, there was an interview in the New York Times with the executive producer who essentially admitted that Ubisoft is trying to rewrite history. His exact quote is that they're going beyond what is accepted truth. Now, accepted truth, that is a funny phrase to use, right? Especially when you think of how... In the last decade or two, you see a lot of school textbooks having essentially what is rewritten, revisionist history. You're seeing a lot of people paint certain periods of history as bad. You know what I mean? There's always the debates of like the colonizers and Christopher Columbus and all that. As we get more and more wokeness infecting our educational system, we hear about how terrible the United States is as a place and that it's racist to be proud of your national ality, nation and that it's racist to be proud of your nation's history and all this bullshit well Ubisoft in regards to Assassin's Creed Shadows has been pushing this narrative that Yusuke is a legendary black samurai that did all this great stuff even though there's no true history about him. There's like next to nothing beyond just like a couple pages of some kind of history about him that even then that stuff is not entirely credible. Most of it comes from Thomas Lockley. We talked about it, who's an individual that wrote a book about Yusuke and his book has been used in Wikipedia, Encyclopedia Britannica, and even Ubisoft's podcast as a official source to cite for historical accuracy, that he's the end-all, be-all of Yusuke's authenticity as a samurai. We know it's not real because even Ubisoft is banning players in the Assassin's Creed Shadows subreddit for debating whether he's a samurai or not. We've seen this petition come out where people are arguing, hey, this isn't true. The Japanese gamers feel disrespected. They feel that their culture's being besmirched. Hundreds of thousands of people have signed this thing. There's a lot of stuff that's inaccurate about it. But this article real quick from Park Place, which it seems like they're banging out article after article calling this game out. And I like to use them as a source because they seem pretty accurate. You can see that Mark Alexis Cote, I don't know how to pronounce his name, the executive producer for the Assassin's Creed franchise, recently admitted the company's aim with Assassin's Creed Shadows to go beyond what's accepted truth and that this was an article with the New York Times uh, that Ubisoft used as a hit piece to attack its former fans and potential customers for Assassin's Creed Shadows. He revealed exactly what he and his team are doing with the game. So I, I talked about this on today's video. There's this article where the writer basically attacked gamers, blamed all the backlash online on right-wing grifting and said that they were all wrong and that it's all a whole bunch of people upset that there's a black character in a video game that takes place in Japan. It's not that black and white, guys. It's more that they're taking Yasuke and they're revising history. I mean, they're admitting right here that they want to go beyond what's accepted truth. You're making revisionist history using real historical characters, and this is something that a lot of companies are doing. I mean, an upcoming Xbox game called Civilization is going to be rewriting a historical figure as non-binary. And and I've even heard, remember reading rumors that Yusuke is LGBTQ in this game. Uh, there was no such thing as LGBTQ in ancient feudal Japan. So basically, guys, they want to fit a narrative that caters to this modern audience that does not show up for anything. They don't show up to support nothing. That's why it all fails. It's not a right-wing grift that we're sitting here making up. This is real woke propaganda being pushed into all of our entertainment. And if you're turning a blind eye to it, you're part of the fucking problem. So continuing on, he said, uh, we want people to be passionate about history. What does that mean? Stay true to well-documented moments and historical figures, but not shying away from having a critical point of view and defying cliches to go beyond what's the accepted truth. So this seems very vague in my opinion. Uh, cliches? Define cliches. What is a cliche in actual historical context? You know, they're saying well-documented moments, historical figures, so maybe like big actual historical events that happen, but they're going to use creative liberty. And yes, in a video game, I expect some use of creative liberty. You see it in movies as well. But they are actually 
trying to use the excuse, and they did it in their statement when they wrote to Japanese gamers, that this is a historical fiction. If this is a historical fiction, why are you trying to promote Yasuke as being a samurai as something that's actual fact? Why are you covering it up? Why are you blocking people off the subreddit? Why are you attacking gamers? Why are you writing hit pieces? If it was a historical fiction, why didn't you just make a brand new character? Why did you need to use Yasuke, who's already a DEI activist wet dream? <laughs> they are literally getting off to the fact that he's over there chopping heads off of Japanese people to hip-hop music. Somebody signed off on that. A literal room of probably executive producers at Ubisoft that, that that was a good idea because it checks all the boxes of diversity. Does it make us racist that we have a problem with Risuke being in the game? No. We want a lot of revisionist history removed from our bullshit. A big part of wokeness is that they want to control a narrative, guys. And part of controlling a narrative is rewriting what is fact, rewriting what is history. That's controlling narrative. And they're literally saying they want to go beyond what's accepted truth. If you're going to change stuff and, and write fictional stuff, just make a fictional character. That's what it is at the end of the day, right? And you can see, continuing on with this, the game director Charles Benoit told Xbox Wire, and it seems abundantly clear that Ubisoft is in reality is trying to rewrite history. He said, We're at the end of the Sengoku era, and a turning point of Japan history. Assassin's Creed's well known for its depiction of the history and accurate recreation of the world. And it's what players can expect with Assassin's Creed Shadows. We're showing real historical figures such as Oda Nobunaga and a lot of events that happened during that time. So you're not only playing in feudal Japan, but learning about the fantastic time period. How are you learning about a fantastic time period if you're revi re revising history? You're, you're, you're getting some kind of creative story, sure. But, I mean, you need to emphasize... That this isn't historically accurate. But they're still having that conflict with Yusuke. They're still trying to say, yes, he was a samurai. I mean, you had that other guy, Hirayama, I believe was his name, that was, according to everybody, a very prominent, credible historian in Japan that got debunked. Right? <laughs> you had a lot of other people taking it to the Japanese government saying, hey, this what Ubisoft is doing is not right. And it seems like... As we lead up to this game, we're going to start to see more and more executives, more and more producers, more and more people basically come out and, and try to damage control everything that is wrong with this game. I think this game is 110% going to underperform. I mean, Star Wars Outlaws, which was the other big game that Ubisoft was releasing, crashed and burned. It, it was pat, uh, underneath expectations of sales, and that's Star Wars. So if this game does wrong, if this game sells bad and flops, Ubisoft's in trouble. We already got minority investors asking to go private and sell. Now you can see it says, ironically, New York Times' Zachary Small, who wrote that article, also shared that Kote believes this approach would inevitably open Assassin's Creed to more criticism in the future, but that the developers have decided it was a risk worth taking. So they're, they're doubling, quadrupling down. They're saying it's worth the backlash to promote woke DEI bullshit in these games, to to embellish Yasuke and to make him into some kind of legendary figure is worth the backlash. Never mind that they're trying to say, oh, we got death threats and all this crap. It's almost like they want to do it on purpose to spite gamers because, to be honest, a lot of these companies now hate gamers. They'd rather cater to modern audiences and agendas than actually making a game that's entertaining without bullshit, without any kind of agenda behind it, right? Now, a part of this is a vendetta against Elon Musk. Of course, they all have Elon Musk derangement syndrome, Kote previously admitted that he was emotionally broken by Elon Musk for simply posting that DEI kills art when he found out that Assassin's Creed Shadows features a gay African protagonist and a feudal Japan setting. And yeah, that's it. I mean, saying he's LGBTQ, putting a black man in feudal Japan, using a guy that Thomas Lockley wrote a whole historical fiction book about just to get ESG, DEI, and modern audience clout. And Elon Musk hit the nail on the fucking head saying DEI kills art. This could have been a fantastic game in a fantastic setting, but they're more focused on propaganda. 
They they're more focused on all this nonsense, guys. And and you know, people weren't happy about it. Not just grifters. The country Japan was not happy about this. So interesting read right here for them to admit that they are going to go beyond what's accepted truth. Basically admitting that they're revising history and and that they want to focus on how great Yasuke is just because they have some kind of weird boner for wokeness. I I don't know what it is in games nowadays or even movies and TV. Uh, We got Agatha, uh, Agatha all along coming out on Disney Plus this week. That's already being rumored to be the gayest MCU show in history. It's like everything has to be some kind of weird label or twist on top of it. It can't just be, hey, this is a great story because it's great characters and it's, it has a great plot, right? No, we have to have some kind of bullshit attached to it. So Assassin's Creed Shadows, going beyond what's accepted truth. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're brand new. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.